Hey there, Vincent Dowd, one of the lead uh, trainers for the Market Mastery Group. And I, I wanted to address a question people have asked. They're like, how do I use options to increase my returns while decreasing my actual downside risk? And there's a lot of ways to do this. So keep in mind, there's two types of options. The call option is the option you buy when you want the stock to go up. And the put option is the option you buy when you want the stock to go down. And you profit based on that movement and you lose if it does not move or goes the other way. But your risk is very limited because you're using leverage, okay? So how do we make a position, implement a position, if you will, that will profit when the market goes up, but if it goes down, you really mitigate risk? Well, there's a lot of different strategies you can use. There's over 27 strategies in the options market. So you just gotta find the ones that work for you, maybe just a handful that you can use time and time again. As an example, if you just bought a call option, and let's say you saw a stock, and we teach you how to do this, you find a stock that looks like it's ready to go up, and you bought a call option on it, you look at how much it costs to buy that option, a premium, and remember, an option controls 100 shares of stock. So if you bought one contract, you control 100 shares. If you buy 10 contracts, you control 1,000 shares. And whatever the price of the option is, you gotta multiply that by the shares that you're controlling. So let's say we're looking at one call option and the call is trading for $2, okay? So that means it's $200 you're gonna put into the trade. Your risk then you know is $200. So if the market drops, the most you could ever lose is $200. And then you're looking at the return, right? Now remember, a small move in the stock creates a magnified move in the option. So provided you get in that trade and the stock moves up 10%, potentially, you could make 100% return on that $2. Now it becomes $400 and you just doubled your money. Now it could keep going higher than that and that's why buying one contract is, is good but it's better to buy two contracts or an even number because if you bought two contracts, it would have cost you 400. If it goes up 10%, right? Now you've just made 100% on your calls. You could sell one contract, right? And you break even so you get your actual principal back. So you sell it for $400, that's how much you invested. You still have an open contract that you own. Now that's the house money. So you took back the principal and now you're still in the game but you're using other people's money. That's a powerful way to use options so that you're actually generating profit, pulling some out along the way and letting the house's money work for you. That's critical. Now if it does go down, keep in mind you have a potential loss max of your option premium but you can actually mitigate risk by, by getting out sooner. So let's just say you enter the trade, and we'll go back to the one contract just to make the math simple. You enter the trade, you pay $200, and you look at your risk profile and you say, you know what, I'm only willing to risk half of this option premium. So I'm willing to risk $100. So if the stock moves in a, such a way that the option decreases in value from 200 to 100, you can actually automate that and actually have that sell your position, get you out of the trade, and you lost $100, not $200, okay? At the same time, you can automate it, so if it goes up from the $200 to $300 or $400, you can sell the position automated. So I can set up orders with my broker where I buy the position, I set an order to sell it here, and sell it here, depending on which way it goes, I'm either gonna profit or I'm gonna lose, but I control the risk. I control how much I lose, and then I can allow it to continue to run and make me money. Remember, options are about limiting risk, mitigating risk. It's not just about making money, that's, that's important, but what's more important is the risk management. I think Warren Buffett always said, the return on your money is not nearly as important as the return of your money, and that is so critical today. So using options, just understand, you use less money in the market, so that automatically reduces risk. Number two, you can actually minimize the risk on the option by deciding how much you're willing to lose if it does drop to that level. And then you get a high rate of return based on leverage, okay? So there's a couple key components there which we, we dive into. We teach you those on our 90-minute webinar and as you work with us. So I hope that answers the question about uh, how do you make money going up or as the market moves up and yet at the same time mitigate that risk. So I look forward to seeing you on one of these webinars. My name is Vince. Talk to you soon.